I got to tell you, this young lady, Madison uh, uh, Shemitz. There we go. I always have trouble with that name. Shemitz? Shemitz. Yes, it was the the young lady who was stabbed and paralyzed. Oh, God, amazing lady. But boy, is she turning a tragic event into something as positive as it possibly can be. She's speaking. She is really um, promoting this One Love Foundation. Um, and trying to speak out about the dangers of domestic uh, abuse. She's not just sitting on the sidelines. She's getting out there and getting active. And she just did this again recently during an event that was aimed at uh, preparing students for the upcoming school year. Um, The Courageous Teen on a Path to Recovery took the opportunity to share her new project and support others dealing with domestic abuse. She believes that domestic abuse is a topic that needs more attention. And I have to absolutely agree with that. To combat this, she plans to establish uh, a chapter of the One Love Foundation right here at the high school, at her high school, to raise awareness, which we talked about a little bit before. Um, so there was a recent event that the St. John's County Sheriff's held along with Ring Power, which you might have heard about. It was mm-hmm. a barbecue back to school event. Over 200 children got their backpacks and school supplies out there. Uh, job seekers uh, filled out applications and things like that. And Madison used it as a platform uh, to promote that One Love Foundation and raise awareness about the dangers of domestic abuse as well. Uh, her chapter of the foundation going to be introduced at her high school in the upcoming school year. They say despite uh, the challenges that she faces in her recovery, Madison remains determined and appreciates the support that she receives from folks like her physical therapist, her mother, and uh, folks just around our area that uh, that are supporting her and her family. And, you know, they had a, a big GoFundMe and people really stepped up and and want to make sure that she is able to afford medical bills and, and get adequate treatment. And just, Website's uh, beautiful. I, I just put it yeah. in the comments, but it's uh, she's doing some amazing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She really is, man. It's it's very impressive because a lot of us, probably me included, boy, you go through something horrible like that and you just want to take time for yourself and, and recover and figure out your life. And here she is just saying, no, man, I'm, I'm going to use my situation to help other people. So what what a courageous young lady. What, I'd love, what an amazing I'd love the opportunity person. to talk to her. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to set that up. That'd be so, great, man. So great. Um. <clears throat> So that was, uh, I, I just got to bring that up and commend her for, for getting out there and, and doing her best to help other young people in our area because it is such an important topic. And, you know, we've got friends like Pastor Jeff who go to schools and they talk to uh, young kids all the time about this. But it's obviously a little different when you hear it from somebody your age who has obviously visibly been through it. Yeah. So very powerful. Keep doing what you're doing, Madison. Uh, you are definitely a, a hero in our county, for sure. You're going to see a lot of young people <clears throat> stepping up and talking about some really dark things, but for inspirational purposes. I think Pete and I, I have you. we have that lady that we're talking to on Thursday, <clears throat> Emma Beno, who's doing that uh, My Ascension talk, which was talks about uh, suicide over yeah. at uh, Tokoy High School. I think it's so important to be able to have a young person that, to stand on a platform and inspire all of us to think about our mental health, for sure. Yeah, because that's who it's affecting the most is people around that age mental health and and these violent situations man it's um 